Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to take a look at the pine shaving bin and see how this is doing. So it's been well over a year at this point. We've continued going with it, and it's been about 30 days since I last checked on it, unfortunately. I've been trying to check on it every two weeks at least, but uh, we've hit that uh, four-week mark now. So we're going to take a look at it, see how it's doing. I've got a large feeding ready to go in here, and we'll go from there with, uh, with how it looks. So far, this has been, has been doing pretty well. Um, the worms seem to come and go as far as the... Uh, the size of them, they, they, they seem to shrink down when I don't have a lot of food in there because they are not really consuming the pine shavings, but it seems to be a good material to use if you're trying to like maintain a system and just sort of run it consistently and without having a lot of, you know, worry about, you know, the, the bedding getting eaten up. I haven't had to add any bedding to the system or anything like that. So with that, let's take a look and see how the system is doing. All right. So as you can see, this is our last date over here of 215. Today's the 17th. And we're going to go ahead and start taking all this material off the top here. A little bit at a time right here. Just take a look real quick. Not seeing any cocoons or worms on here. So we'll move this off to the side for now. And let's dig into our system here. Now, um, the corners look a little bit... Um, let me push this down just a little bit. There we go. Corners look a little bit dry. But this, this center part looks good. I don't know why it's kind of dry right there maybe a little bit of moisture coming through there somehow in the uh, the bags but overall it does look pretty good as far as the system itself so let's just start digging in here on the side that we last fed on to take a look so I'm already seeing some worms in here which is a good sign quite a few in this area so they're doing really well over here just throw those back in there they're going after that food a little bit of food left in here it looks like but not too much so we're, show, we're showing that the worms are definitely in here. They're moving around pretty well. There's no um, bad odors or anything sometimes, these systems, but especially when they sit too long, they can get a little bit compacted, but that issue's not really coming up at all. So let's just see here. And you can see it's really just dry at this top section over here, this top half inch to an inch maybe, and then it's sort of moist. There's plenty of moisture in there. Not seeing any cocoons, but overall, a good, good amount of worms in this section right here where the last feeding was. There was some food, if I remember right, left in the center section too. And there's still worms over here as well. You can see these worms over here. They're moving in there. I thought I just saw a cocoon that fell off, but um, we'll keep going here. But again, we still got these young worms in here too, which is a great sign to have these young worms. That's what you're really looking for. You know, I've got one right there, and there's another one right behind it over here. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a little tiny worm right there. So that's a good sign. Those are not pot worms. Those are, you know, little baby worms. And it looks like there's another one over here, and maybe even another one over here. So... This is a good sign that there are so many young worms in here. It means that the population is growing and that they think that it's a good system to be in. You need to start getting worried if you start seeing less and less worms in your system and no baby worms, only adults. It's sometimes not a good sign unless there's lots of cocoons in your system. So, but these worms have lasted in here. I've not added any since I started this uh, over a year ago. And, you know, there's still a lot of worms in here. Worms don't live, you know, forever. I think they only live, you know, about, what, a year and a half for these red worms to maybe two years at the most. So most of these worms are all new worms. This is the only system that they probably have known um, at this point for a lot of them. Because remember, I'm not putting in really young worms right now. On this side over here, we're still seeing some worms. That means that they're spreading out, starting to try to look for some food. That's a good sign as well. Means we're probably ready for a feeding. Again, some smaller worms in there. Material feels a little dry, but it's really not that bad. It's about that moisture content where, you know, it flakes apart. I could probably, if I were to squeeze it, I'd kill a bunch of worms. So I'm not going to do that, but I could probably form a ball in my hand with it. But I'm not seeing anything, anything off really in here. Except I'm just not finding any cocoons. So no cocoons, but it does look like they're moving through the food, and it looks like they're doing a good job. I think we're going to feed 
on this side. And the food that I have this time is already, actually we're just gonna leave a slight layer in here. It's already um, thawed out, so we don't have to worry about it freezing them or anything like that. And we are gonna add in quite a bit again, as we have done in the past. So just so you can see in here, this food has been sitting in the fridge for a couple days, so there's a little bit of mold to it and a little bit of a smell, but we've got some coffee grounds. So you can see it's molding over right over here. Um, apple cores, banana peels, tea leaves. These are all tea leaves. These are oolong tea leaves, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and dump these in. Dump this entire thing in here. This is not a full one of these, but it's a, it's a good amount. All right, it looks like there's also a stem in here from a grape, a grape stem. But we got these coffee bags, because it looks like a strawberry in there. There we go, kind of spread this out a little bit. I'm gonna just shake these coffee grounds out. They, they seem to get clumped up in this bag and they just sort of stay there. So really want those to sort of stay inside. The, or outside the bag and kind of move around in here so it gets everywhere. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and cover this back up pretty deep though. So we're gonna really kind of scoop some of this on here. We really wanna cover this up well. Kind of fill in these other sections that are a little bit lower. This is gonna collapse down. I don't think we need, I mean, I, I'm looking in here, you can see tons and tons of crushed eggshell in here. I mean, when you pick this up and you look at it up close, you should see lots of little dots in there. That's all I think crushed eggshell. So I think we're doing fine on that, and I don't think it needs really that much more grit. Um, I've been adding a lot over the year, uh, you know, year and a couple months that I've been doing this system. I've been adding quite a bit. So I think they're okay on grit right now. It's just a matter of moisture content, which I think is okay. I don't think I need to add any moisture to this. I mean, it seems like it's uh, holding up pretty well. I'm just trying to bury some of these, you know, banana tops right here, just in here, so that way they're, they'll also get worked on. And I think that's it really for this update. I think we're going to go ahead and cover this up. And we're going to, you know, put this back on the shelf and go from there. So let me go ahead and grab the, grab the bags and cover this up. So make sure we cover this up nice and pretty well here. Still want a little bit of an air gap, but it's good to have it covered. There we go. Just like that. Now we'll dry, dry out a little bit in some areas, but it'll be okay. And then the last thing I need to do here is I need to pull this section up and I need to put on my label. So I'm going to put that on over here as our last feeding. I'm going to go ahead and peel these two off because there was really no food left. So we're, we're not going to worry about that. I usually leave the label if there's food left over or if I uh, didn't feed at all, I'll just kind of cover up the other one. But with that, we're going to let that go, and that's it for this update. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or concerns or anything at all about this system, let me know down in the comments.